What's up guys? So, I'm here at Pro Hockey Life. I'm gonna be looking at some new chest protectors because my current chest protector, if you didn't watch my what's in my bag video, go check it out. But I show that the flap on my chest protector here isn't actually attached to the back anymore. Now I can go get that fixed for like $15, but I actually got a shot in the gut recently and I felt it and it hurt. And I think it's just time to finally upgrade that chest protector because I don't even know how old it is. I just know it's old. I need to update it. So I'm gonna go take a look, see what feels comfortable. I know that new chest protectors typically feel tight and you can't move a lot and it takes a while to break them in, but I just wanna get a sense of what is on the market and maybe what I would be interested in buying. So I'm gonna head in there now and see what I can find. This is 649 Aerolite Bauer Vapor 1X. Check out this. That's so interesting. Like, it's like plastic? Is that meant to be there? I gotta try this on. All right, I'm gonna try on this Ritual G4 Pro. I've never worn anything Warrior, so this will be the first thing I'm ever even trying on. It looks like it will protect me, but I wanna try it on, see how it feels, see if it's comfortable. So, let's take a look. First, initial thoughts. It feels a little, like, bulky. Obviously, anything that I try on is gonna be bulky because my chest protector that I'm currently wearing is really old, really worked in, and all the padding is like very, very bendable. But this definitely feels like it's the right size. This is a senior medium. Those arms feel long enough. I mean, I can move. I definitely move. I know I can adjust everything. Everything on new chest protectors are adjustable nowadays. I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna get hurt in this guy. A nice side protection here. I'm gonna go grab a glove and a blocker. Alright, a good thing to keep in mind when you're trying out new chest protectors, try them on with gloves. So you'll get a good sense of like whether or not you can rotate your hands and whether or not the chest protector is gonna be in the way. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's definitely rubbing on the glove, both gloves. My current chest protector, the padding actually isn't as low. Again, this is probably all adjustable and I can figure it out. But right now it feels like I can't rotate my wrist all the way. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to try another one. Don't mind my hair, it's a mess, I know. But uh, I'm gonna try on this guy now, see which one feels better. Really all right? Yeah, I'm just trying on some uh, new chest protectors. I have a YouTube channel, so I'm like, showing people what my thoughts are and which ones I'm trying on. Do the Shield 2. Basically one with the CCM from your two line, that's what it was. Okay. Uh, it's got a D-trio foam, and it's got really good foam to actually air out the chest protector. It comes in pretty much worked in, it's what I use. I've had mine for about six months now. Okay. Uh, even when the shot comes into me at the chest, I barely can have it absorbs all of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can hardly feel it. Um, it fits really snug. Um, it's not the new NHL size. It's still like a regular size chest protector. Okay. NHL size ones. Um, but it does feel very, very well fitted. Okay. Um, that is definitely the best selling one. So that's the Shield 2, you said? Yeah, that was the best selling chest protector of 2018. So the best selling ones are, you're saying CCM, and then Warrior would be the next one? At the moment. And then what would be something, say, I mean, those are obviously in the higher price point. What would be the next one that you would recommend that, say, in the 300 price range? Um, well, so CCM did a, a 2.9, which is basically the model below, which is also a really good one. Okay. Uh, same fit, same feel, just without the D3O foam and some of the higher end foams that the Shield 2 had. So but, do you think that, like, are these not that popular? Or they are just not as popular as the Rituals? And the... the thing with these is, the fit of them is a little awkward, I found. Yeah. Um, I feel like on all of the Bauer chest protectors, the arms are very, very narrow. For me, it felt really, really, really tight on my arms. 
Um, and then this is definitely more of a butterfly compared to a hybrid style of pole tending chest pad. I mean, it's much more rounded. It's not very squared, yeah. uh, which I found is a huge thing. Whereas a lot of gold these days like to be much more square to the puck compared to being the Jonathan Quick style. Yeah. Uh, which is just all over the place. So, I find I'm more leaning towards Jonathan Quick. I try, but I grew up and I, my goalie coaching was from years ago. Mm -hmm. So like I'm 27, so it's changed since I've been in like playing rep. I just play men's league. That's what this channel is. Like I literally film every Sunday and stuff. Yeah. Um, I've I've seen a couple of your. Oh, you have seen my stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool, you man. Were the, you were the E Flex threes, all yeah. the classic style stuff, right? Cool, man. That's I've awesome. Seen, I've seen your videos. Yeah. That's cool. awesome. Okay, so it wasn't so weird then with me filming. Yeah. Okay. For anybody else who's looking for a new chest protector, would it be smart to wait until the new gear is released, or do you think like will this stuff go on sale in the next couple months? For sure. So I mean, this stuff here will, will go on clearance in a couple months time, um, but at the same time you do want to have also a look at the new stuff so at about may times when the new stuff comes out come in take a look at that try it on and also try on the stuff before like the previous stuff and really get a feel of, of what you're getting and you'll know you'll know what you want when you actually try it on instead of just looking at it online and just saying oh that's the highest one i'll get that Gotcha. Whereas if you come in and try it, you'll definitely get a real feel for it and how it feels on your body. I hope you guys got some value out of that. So if you're buying new equipment, always buy around May time because that's when they'll release the new gear, but they'll also have sales and clearances on the older gear. So if you're buying new equipment, go for May or I guess December when they're doing like the sales for Christmas and all that. But anyways, I am in my candy store, so I'm going to walk around and see what else they got. Zane told me about a true hockey stick and how these new ones are way better than the first generations and I gotta tell you, I've never felt a lighter stick. I'm so tempted to buy this right now, like super light, like I'm, I, I don't know how to explain how light this is. I'm using a Sherwood, which is actually a wood with foam core. I never have used composite before, I always feel like they break too easily, but like, this is the light. <laughs> What do you guys think? What is your favorite stick? What do you use? Let me know in the comments below. Should I look into using True, continue with my Sherwoods, or is there something else I should be looking at? Let me know. I usually use a 27 inch paddle. So if you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments. All right, so if you are looking for a new chest protector, stay tuned. I'm gonna be coming back in May to see what new chest protectors are out, what chest protectors are on sale, and uh, what would be the best fit, as well as if you're looking for a new stick, or if you currently are using True, let me know what your thoughts are. I think I really wanna try out that stick, but before I go and buy it, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you guys enjoy the game. I'll see you on the ice. All right, guys, welcome to another game. Here we go. We are playing a team called something animals. Animals in the way or animals across the road or I don't know, something like that. And anyways, we, I don't think we've played them before. I don't recognize the team, the jerseys, um, nothing. So either they moved down a division or we moved up. Either way, it should be an interesting game as usual. Good job, good job, good clear, good clear. Alright, on that goal there guys, I didn't quite see the shot, so I'm not too sure if it went 5 hole or if it went up high. I wasn't tracking it 100%. So that's the only thing I can tell you guys, make sure you're tracking that pass a little bit better so you can see it, you know where they're shooting. Thank you. Couple bouncing pucks today. Gotta uh, control those rebounds. And that goal there, I just committed too much to the poke and uh, I thought I'd have it, but he just walked around it, put it in an empty net, not that hard of a goal. Bad judgment on my part.
even now, it's even, it's even, it's even. Woo! What? All right, so we just scored a goal, and for some reason the ref waved it off. I gotta get an explanation for that one. I have no idea what happened there. What, what happened on that goal there? What happened, yeah. Number one, he went into the goalie, number one. And number two, the goalie cannot make the save. Number three, it deflected off of his chest. Uh -huh. If any deflection that goes, the puck goes in the net, it's no goal. Really? What? Wait, what? No, that's All right, well, you heard the explanation there. Somehow we went into the goalie, the puck went off our guy's chest, I guess, and went in. No deflection off a player can go in. I, I haven't heard of that before, but maybe because he's going in a forward motion. I don't know. Anyways, on the goal, I just let in. I think I was just distracted as to why we didn't get the goal. And I wasn't thinking clearly. I wasn't square. And the guy just shot it. Yeah, that went in. And uh, yeah, I just wasn't square to the puck on that last one. Power play, boys, come on. No, no penalties, no penalties, boys. Come on. Oh, you got time. What I meant to say, you can't direct it into the net, and that's exactly That's what I thought, because he, he's moving forward, right? All right, so the ref may have wanted to make a correction from his earlier statement. It can go off a player and in, but not if they're moving, like, purposely towards the net to put it in. Good game, man. Good game. Good game, goalie. Good game. Good game. Good game. Happy New Year. Good game. Happy New Year. Good, game. Good game, boys. Good game. Good game. All right, so that final score was five to two. Tough loss. I don't know if we played this team before, but either way, it's a good game. Overall, if you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, see you next week. Two of those. <laughs> I should. I should add two of those for sure. But we still would have lost. How many were you on for? Actually, only two. I know, that's five. That's five. That's five. That's a, no, it was. Power, the power play one's the only one I screwed up on when I went behind the net.